I have your brain scanned and permanently backed up in case something terrible happens to you, which it's just about to. Hello there, this is Neon FX, and welcome to my new Let's Play. These guys are Delphine Software International, a French company who apparently went bust. They did not go bust because they made bad games. No, they made good games. Games like this game. Can you guess what it is? Well, you should know because this was in the vote video and you actually voted for it. And this is the game that won. Dum dum, let's play, let's play, flashback. 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 Yeah. Seriously, any guesses at this point? Yes, we are of course playing flashback for the Sega Mega Drive. Or the Sega Genesis, depending on where you live. I quickly need to do this. I need to go into my options here and switch up the language to French because I think that would... No. Actually, I changed my mind because my French is really bad, so we'll keep it to English. And this is actually what I want to do. I want to switch it to expert because... Because I'm a crazy fool like that. Yes, I am. Okay, let's start. Do do. Do 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 do. Oh, get off me, mosquito! Oh shit, I dropped my thing. Man, you have crazy green eyes. What's that about? You crazy green eyes of doom. Let's investigate this beeping and find out what it is. Oh, it's the thing that we dropped, obviously. I mean, what did you think it was? <laughs> There's gonna be a test later. How much attention did you pay to this let's play? Okay, so here's our inventory. We have a shield, we have a gun. Those things are useful. We have no money, because we are poor. And we have a cube. Let's find out what the cube does. Do 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 ba do do. Yeah, there's probably gonna be lots of singing in this let's play for some reason. And singing and cheesy voice acting, actually. I've just decided right now. Hey, it's me! Oh, it is me. Hi, Conrad. You must be wondering how you recorded this message without remembering it. I was thinking exactly that. That and fried chicken, because fried chicken is good. Good question. But it would take too long to explain. And time is too short. And if you want to save your hide... Uh-huh. Yeah. You must contact your old friend Ian in New Washington. There's a New Washington. And you need to work out how to make longer pauses during your sentences. Because that's your thing, man. He'll explain it all there. Good luck. And watch your back. Because it's my life you're playing with. Oh, Conrad. You and your unique sense of humor. Alright, so apparently we're heading to New Washington, which may actually lead you to believe that this is Earth, because it is very green. And Earth is also very green. However, this is not Earth. This is Planet Titan. And I know that for some reason. I shouldn't know that. That basically means I know this game a little too well to know that this is not Earth, but... I think we're actually going back to Earth at some later point, so... Haha! <laughs> Yes! Yes! That is dodging bullets matrix style, my friends. That is. I am very proud of those techniques. So yeah, um, we're heading back to Earth later. That's how I know this isn't Earth. And I think in the second level, um, that's where you find out this is Planet Titan. So that's how I know that also. Look at this idiot. He's just firing out a door. What are you doing, man? That, that is not going to accomplish anything, I can tell you. Oh shit, it's a robot. Need to run away from the robot! You will not get me, robot. And neither will you, mutant thing, firing at the door. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the clever path here. I'm going to sneak up behind you and do this! Because that is how you kill things, my friend. 
and I'm gonna nick your stuff. Because that's what you get when you're an idiot. Yes, it is. Alright, so yeah, this is Flashback. This is a game from my childhood. I used to play this a lot, and... Oh, shit. Am I dead? No! There was a platform. That genuinely worried me for a second there. Yeah, so whilst most kids were playing Mario and Sonic, I was playing this. This is a good game. It's uh, very fun and addicting. Yeah, um, this was actually my older brother's copy of the game. It wasn't mine. I remember him actually saying that I wouldn't enjoy this. Because I was actually really young when I first played this game. And he said I wouldn't get into it. Turns out I actually played this game and beat it. He did not. He got stuck on the second level. So, that shows what he knows. So yes, we need this thing. It is a recharge station for our cartridge. Because this thing needs a charging. Hooray! It's also used for your shields if you get shot, but since I haven't been shot yet, don't need to use it. Um, yeah, there's a few different versions of this game also. There's a Super Nintendo version. I obviously went with the Sega Mega Drive version because that's the version I played as a kid. But the Super Nintendo version, that one, um, apparently has better music than this version. But it is also censored, so... Yeah, for some reason they changed the level of the third level. Changed the level of the level? Changed the name of the level. Of the third level. I think you'll kind of understand why when we actually get there. Um, but yeah, there's different music in there. There's also um, a Sega CD version of this, which... That's probably the superior version, because I've seen videos on that game. Basically, all the games... All the different versions have the same gameplay, but uh, the Sega CD version that one actually has FMVs, and I will admit they are they do look pretty cool. Uh, the old, the other major difference between this and the Sega CD version is there's actually music playing throughout it, which is actually really cool. But I don't know. I think I kind of like this. Sub so non music. We will get random bass lines playing for no reason at some points. This is a teleporter. That's so cool! Will we be using the teleporter? We will not be using the teleporter. Not not right now at least. Yeah, the Sig C D version. That has FMVs, that has music playing throughout and Yeah, it's cool. But I decided to go with this version because this is the version I played as a kid, so it makes more sense for me to let's play this version, right? But what I think I might do actually is put up the FMVs for the Sega CD version in some kind of bonus video after this, so you can look forward to that. Oh, you're probably wondering what all this green stuff about is, by the way. You don't want to know what the green stuff about is. I mean, I could walk into that stuff and show you. Yes, thank you. Random baseline. For warning me. And yet I get shot anyway. That's brilliant. That's amazing. Yeah, if you see something green and glowy, that's basically a good indication that that stuff is deadly. So, yeah. Might want to avoid it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have too much difficulty with this first level, to be honest with you, with the puzzles here. It's pretty straightforward. Not only that, but, you know, it's a retro game. You, you see first levels in retro video games a lot. You know what I mean? Help! Help! Alright, I will help you. Help me, young man. I've been attacked by mutants, and I can't walk. Find my teleporter. I need urgent medical assistance. I've actually already found your teleporter. And, yes, I will help you because I'm a kind hearted man who helps out others. I'm just kidding. I am just kidding. I am in it for the rewards. I expect to be paid handsomely for doing this for you right here. Thanks. You just saved my life. Hey, hey, 